Here are the latest developments in the crash of that small plane near New York City last night that killed two men from our area. The FAA and the NTSB are continuing their investigation. No word on how long that could take. It was confirmed today the pilot had radioed the control tower at Westchester County Airport that he was having engine problems. The plane crashed 30 minutes later in bad weather. Now to the men killed. Two prominent members of the local Orthodox Jewish community, which is in mourning tonight. Baruf Tab and Benjamin Shavitz were both 55 years old. Funeral services for Shavitz were held this afternoon. Services for Tab will be on Sunday. Our Bree Buckley spoke with an aviation expert tonight and takes a look at what investigators are looking for. I am declaring an emergency. Our oil pressure is dropping. The last calls for help to air traffic control Thursday night. Made it, made it, made it, made it. When the small plane heading to Cuyahoga County Airport crashed shortly after taking off from New York City, tragically killing Baruf Taub and Benjamin Chavetz. This was a tragedy that, uh, you know, is, of course, uh, affecting a whole community here in greater Cleveland. Jamie Leibovitz is an aviation accident attorney in Cleveland, having represented cases all across the world. Generally speaking, airplane accidents are rare, and they usually occur um, because of a multiplicity of reasons. Common one is some failure of the airplane. As the FAA and NTSB lead the investigation, Leibovitz says they'll be looking into all aspects, like maintenance history of the plane and examining each part of the aircraft. It could be a cylinder that failed. It could be a crack in the crankcase. It could be uh, a number of different variables. Um, his oil pressure began to drop and he was losing uh, a multiplicity of systems as well as the conduct of the air traffic control to see if assistance was provided in a timely manner. Listening to the air traffic control tapes, this was a busy period of time in the airspace surrounding metropolitan New York area. And so the controller was working a number of different airplanes. To hopefully find the cause and prevent a tragedy like this from happening again. Who was responsible, why this happened, and importantly, how can something like this be prevented from happening again so that other families cannot, you know, suffer the same sense of loss and tragedy? Now, Leibovitz tells me federal investigations like this typically take a year to a year and a half. So, Russ, it sounds like it may be a while until many of those questions are answered. Okay. Bree Buckley, thank you. Of course.